Welcome to day 24 of my 30 day security challenge. It's the month long challenge I created to help you gain control of your privacy and security online. You can follow along with the whole thing over at snubsy.com or you can check out each video in our playlist at youtube.com slash tech thing. Today we will discuss how to spot fake emails and fake social network pages. There are several reasons why you want to be able to spot these, most notably being social engineering or hacking. Fake emails could be used specifically to pry information out of you without your consent. These could look like fake shipping carrier emails or fake banking emails that get you to click on a link and put in your username and password. They could be fake bill pay requests, etc. Fake social networking pages are made to look like legitimate companies that offer freebies for likes, shares, or follows. You like the page and you end up getting social engineered or the page eventually disappears and you find a different company in its place. Huh, how strange. But to understand how to watch out for them, first we must understand what phishing is. Now phishing is a large scale attack where an attacker will create a forged email and send it to a whole series of email addresses that they found in other hacks or from huge lists that they found on the web. Their intent is to trick you into divulging information or download malware. They do this by making the email look incredibly realistic to the ones that you would normally see for a business or for a company that you work with. Or they will use a name of one of your friends and email you asking for money, making it a very urgent request. Yet another reason to clean out those friends lists, I might say. So to take it a step further, spear phishing is when you or a company are specifically targeted for more information. Facebook pages, on the other hand, or Twitter accounts are commonly made to create an emotional response in users. They want you to immediately reshare a page post, retweet a comment, and they want you to make them go viral. Alternatively, they could get you to like or follow their page, click on a link and divulge information, or invite friends to the page. These pages or accounts will either fish information out of you or eventually completely change the page to read and market something else entirely. Email clients and social networks have taken steps to keep this from happening, such as using spam folders and needing approval to change page names. But phishing still gets through. So today, let's talk about how to spot them. First off, keep your security software up to date on your systems or turn on automatic updating. Older security software might not catch newer malware, so downloading updates is a crucial step. Next, take notes of emails that are highly urgent or require immediate action. If you get a message from eBay asking you to pay a $200 invoice within 24 hours or your account will be suspended and to click here to pay, it might not actually be eBay. Open a new tab in your browser, Physically type in ebay.com, just like keyboard cat, into your address bar and log into your account and then pay any bills required. Same with if you receive an urgent request from a friend. Call them up to confirm, send them a text message or direct message them on another platform and verify it was actually them asking. If not, someone might be spoofing their email address or pretending to be them. Do you see misspellings or bad grammar? That's the biggest red flag of them all. Is an email address misspelled? That could be a red flag. Companies should have editors checking public work before being sent out to customers, so this should not happen in legit emails. If you receive an offer for something that seems too good to be true, it probably is. Did you get an email saying that you want a free iPhone or a free Caribbean cruise or a free trip to Disneyland? Everybody wants to take a trip to Disneyland, right? Did you receive an email saying that you won the lottery? It's fake, sorry. You never entered a giveaway, but you won a free product. That's definitely fake. By the way, you aren't gonna die if you don't forward that chain email about spiders on a plane. That's fake too. Did you initiate the conversation? You just received some random unsolicited email from a company to reset your password or track a shipment? It might be fake. The display name could easily look legitimate as well as the email address that it comes from. Obvious red flags would include a misspelling on the name or email address that does not match the actual actual company name. If links are actually included in the email, hover over them and see where they link to. If the actual link does not match the companies.com, then it is probably fake. If there aren't contact details for the company in the email, 
it's probably fake. And if they start the email with something like a wrong name, a dear customer, or my dear, or weird stuff like that, then it's probably fake as well. Never give out private information over email. Try to use another platform for this kind of information, and in person is always best. And always, always, always be skeptical. Be careful about what information you share publicly on social network sites, and never click on links or attachments in emails, and always try to go directly to a company site via the web browser, remember the keyboard cat, instead. Now Google's Gmail is pretty good about catching these kind of emails and sticking them in the spam box, but they do not catch all of them. The best advice I can give in relation to email is to trust no one, because phishing is getting more and more clever over time. Now when it comes to social networks, you can use much of the same triggers to find phishing attacks. Pages that are spelled wrong, they use incorrect grammar, they create a sense of urgency, like we're giving away two free tickets in one day, but you have to like our page to enter, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's probably fake. Not only are some of these against the social network terms of service for contests and giveaways, but they are also phishing. If the page creates an immediate emotional response or anger, sadness, or hate, it could be using that against you to make you share the page's post. Double check, triple check information claiming to be factual. If it's not true, report it to the social network. The best way to tell if a Facebook page is really a legitimate company is if it has a little blue circle with a little white check mark next to the name. That is Facebook's way of verifying a company or a celebrity's page. For example, let's look at a couple of Disneyland pages. So this first one is real. The second one is not real. Sometimes fan pages will include a not associated with Disneyland, for example, comment in their about section, but not always. Some of them will be used to fish personal information about you. Some of these offer free tickets to a theme park to fish information. Of course, social networks recommend reporting fake profiles or pages immediately. Now day 24 is now complete. Tomorrow is all about how to spot fake support phone calls, scammers, and social engineering. But first, make sure to subscribe on YouTube and hit up snubsy.com for the downloadable checklist. Again, I'm Shannon Morris, and I will see you tomorrow for day 25.